Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. What does Imam Ali mean to me? By Adam Tucci. My assalamu alaikum, my respected elders and elders and friends. Please can we recite a salawat for the Holy Prophet? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. For me, Ummu Malin alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. And for the Imam of our time, Imam Zamana. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. I am very thankful because I have been given the opportunity to talk about one of the greatest men to have ever walked on this earth and what he means to me specifically. So all of us, he is known as Ali ibn Abi Talib. And this man's magnificence has been praised over and over the centuries and he still lives on through his actions and his words. No one can ever argue that even the bare name of Mamali al Islam inspires love devotion and loyalty. He is so revered, I'm sure all of us have our own favourite quote from Mamli al Salam that we have used somewhere in social media. That's incredible. Think about that. A man who lived over 1,400 years ago, his words still shape our society and we know that they will affect the lives of our children and our children's children. Those who write about Imam Ali, both Muslim and non-Muslim, are in awe of him. And I found quotes from two respected Western scholars. The first one is Edward Gibson, a British historian, who said in 1911, He united the qualifications of a poet, a soldier and a saint. His wisdom breathes in a collection of moral and religious sayings. And everything antagonistic in the combats of the tongue and the sword. And was subdued by his eloquence and his valour. Wilfred Maidlong, professor of Arabic at the prestigious Oxford University, said in 1997, in view of Umayyad treachery, arbitrary and divisive government and vindictive retribution, they came to appreciate his honesty, his unbending devotion to the reign of Islam and his deep personal loyalties, his equal treatment of one of his supporters and his generosity, even to those who betrayed him. I even remember um, an article by the BBC in 2017 uh, about researchers in Sweden who had found Arabic characters woven into the belts of Viking of people in Viking boat graves. The patterns woven into the silk were characters of Allah and Ali. Let that sink in. A group of pagan savages in their conquest of the world were so amazed by Imam Ali alayhi salam that they were buried, something which is incredibly important in Viking culture, with the names of Ali alayhi salam from the Shia people that they had met. SubhanAllah. Although many people have tried to define Imam Ali alayhi salam, this is an impossible task. An Arab poet, Al-Hindi, wrote this very well. He said, The human being cannot comprehend you, Amir al -Mu'mineen. Only God is able to comprehend you because he was the one who created you. Even Hadith of the Holy Prophet himself, peace be upon him, said that, O oh Ali, only two are able to understand you, me and God. So, so the question of what does Imam Ali mean to me is an, impossible, is an impossible task. Not because I can't find anything to say about him, but the exact opposite. Where do I start and what am I meant to start with? He excelled in everything, and I mean literally everything. His speech, his sacrifice, his politics and ethics, and his knowledge of the world and the Holy Quran. A contemporary, a contemporary poet has written, written, and I really like this, with his battles he was a soldier, to orphans he was the father, and to philosophers he was the author of Najat al -Akha. So I suppose when it comes to Imam Ali, with such to choose from, you have to make a choice of one specific aspect of what does Imam Ali al -Islam mean to you. And this becomes very personal. As a teenager, Imam Ali al -Islam is one of his most defining characteristics is his leadership. Like everything in this great man's life, there is no single act of leadership that stands out above the rest, but how everything equally is incredible. Number one, his early years. We saw him lead by his actions. He was the first male to support the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, in Islam. And he physically, physically, not just said, 
defended the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, against people who would attack him. As a young adult, we saw him lead by his fearlessness. He eagerly filled every command the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, whether that be first to pray, to give his life for the Holy Prophet, or just to hold the stand in all the battle. As a man, we saw him lead other people. Although he was officially appointed by the Prophet, peace be upon him, Others didn't recognise this, and they appointed who they believed was um, the correct figure. He never complained, actually, during this time. Even, and said he um, did incredible acts of generosity. This is where many of the famous stories about him had arrived during the time when he wasn't caliph. And despite the immense political unrest and the great personal loss, he maintained his unflinching character. Now, the final part, as the fourth caliph. We never saw, we saw him lead, sorry, in the face of adversity. Although Imam Ali salam, never sought power, uh, he, uh, he was asked to be caliph after the death of the three predecessors. This is a dangerous job, but one of immense power, the most of the entire Middle East. Despite this position of power, he never gave up the humble lifestyle, which he is so famous for. And he didn't change his record on, he didn't change his record on human rights, all the work he did for the poor, those that that work and spirit still continues on well into the modern day. So although Mamali al-Islam means to me leadership, he may mean something completely different to you, such as the greatest commander of any army, the champion of human justice, the opponent to opposition in all of its forms, and the martyr who died and sojourned on the night of Gadda. Whatever Imam Ali al means to you, he is without question the perfect role model and the person we shall strive to become. The Holy Prophet al -Salam, famously said, whoever pleases me, pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And throughout Imam Ali al-Islam's life, he utmost certainly pleased the Prophet through his, through his loyalty and devotion to the religion. By all accounts, the Rasulullah and the Prophet and Imam Ali al were inseparable since Imam Ali al-Islam's birth. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, his love and respect for Imam Ali al -Islam is unparalleled, and it's clear that the Rasul held Imam Ali al -Islam in the highest of regards. Now, we'll conclude. Wherever Imam, whatever Imam Ali al -Islam me, uh, in your life represents, be, you can be sure that you're not even scratching the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to this character. Thousands of scholars over the centuries have detailed Imam Ali al-Islam's qualities and attributes and their own admission have failed to capture even the smallest glimpse of this man. So I believe that, so I believe one of the best summaries of Imam Ali al-Islam is from Qatab al-Muslim, one of the highest ranking scholars in Sunni Islam. The position of Ali salam amongst the people is like Surah Qul Hula Huahad in the Quran. Meaning Imam Ali salam, whatever you want to call him, whether it be Asadullah, Haidal Al Qarar, Wasi, Abu Hassanain, Mawla Qainat, Wa Sayyidul Wasin, Wa Amal Muttaqeen, Wa Amir al Mu'mineen, he is unique. Thank you for your time everyone. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa